Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, we are going to be working together in a little coding challenge. The challenge is about taking this array, an array like this, and then we want to find the duplicate elements. So, for example, in this array, the duplicate elements will be two because it's the only number that's repeated. So that's the coding challenge. If you would like to learn how we solve that, keep watching this video. Okay, so what are the ways that we can solve this challenge? Well, if we think about it, first thing we need is to find out if a number is duplicated or not. So one way to do that is we could create an array where we put the numbers that we have already seen. So let's call that sin. And that's going to be an empty array. Could also be a set if you want. But let's keep it simple for now. Let's use an array. And um, what I want to do is go over the numbers. So let's do each, there is a each, and then when we see a number, we add it to our scene. So now what we do, what can we do with this? Well, when we have already seen a number, if we see it again, we see it twice, it means it has to be a duplicate number, right? So let's do that. We're going to say if sin include, oops, include i, then we can print, for example, put duplicate found, and then let's print the actual number, and, okay, so we can see the output says, Duplicate found two. So it's finding it, and we can try adding more duplicates. For example, let's, let's duplicate the number one, take us duplicate found one. So that works very nicely, as you can see. And the way this works again is we're building this scene array, we're putting all of the numbers into the scene array, and then before that, we check if it's already in there, and then we print. So that's one way to do this, but of course, not the only way, because in programming and in Ruby, you can do different solutions, completely different solutions for the same problem. So let's try another one. Let's try counting the numbers. So for each number, I want to count how many of this number are there, are, can we find. So let's do, maybe we can get fancy here, how about that? Let's try row by itself, then transform values, and uh, let's do size. And then this gives us the counts. So you can see it finds that there are two ones and two twos. So now the only thing that we have to do is to map. Now let's do, hmm. Let's do a select. Select of this. Key and value, let's print that. Okay. Just checking that we get the right values. So now we can do if V is greater than one, there we go. We get the numbers and finally we can map first. And I'm mapping first because what we have here It's an array at this point. 
So the first is the first element which corresponds which is the number, the duplicate number. So that's our duplicate number or duplicate numbers one and two. So I can add a few more if you want just to demonstrate that this is working correctly. So that's the second way. This gets a bit more fancy with the group by itself, the transfer values, but all of this is doing is creating is creating a hash where we are counting every every single number. And then we are just finding out which numbers appear more than once with this select. And finally, we're getting the actual numbers like this. So that's the second solution to finding duplicate numbers. Can you think of another way to solve this? Post your solution in the comments so we can see how you solve this in a different way. Hope you found this helpful and interesting. If you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. And if you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and visit my website, rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.